Hi, my name is Todd Moldauer and I'm a fellowship trained orthopedic surgeon at the Southern California Orthopedic Institute in Van Nuys, California. Today I'm going to talk about lumbar disc surgery. The lumbar spine consists of five bones known as lumbar vertebrae that support the torso and connect the thoracic area with the pelvis. In between the bones of the lumbar spine are discs which are cushions that allow us to twist and turn and bend in various directions. Low back pain is a very common complaint amongst people of all ages. In most instances, the symptoms resolve in a week or two with or without medical care. Unfortunately for some, the pain doesn't resolve and those individuals frequently have pain or numbness in one or both legs. These symptoms are usually due to a pinched nerve, which occurs when a lumbar disc protrudes into the spinal canal where the nerves are found. Although most patients with disc protrusions can be treated without surgery, those with the most severe symptoms or those showing nerve damage may require surgery. Our minimally invasive techniques, which involve specially designed instruments and the use of a microscope for magnification and illumination, allows us to fix the damaged disc with minimal disruption of the surrounding tissues, which affords a faster and more predictable recovery. The lumbar discs allow the spine to twist and turn in all directions and serve as shock absorbers when we step off a curb, jump, or involved in an accident. Over time, either with daily wear and tear or with injury, the disc can rupture, sending the inner part of the disc, called the nucleus, into the spinal canal where it can irritate and compress the nerves. Patients with disc injuries usually have back pain, which may or may not radiate into one or both legs. When the pain radiates into the back of the leg, it's called sciatica. In the most severe conditions, weakness and numbness can occur, and in the worst cases, the nerves to the bowel and bladder can be compressed, resulting in loss of control of bowel and bladder function, leading to incontinence. In men, these same nerves can also affect the ability to have an erection. It's not unusual for a patient to describe their pain as a burning knife in their buttock. Patients should seek medical care immediately for low back pain if it's associated with weakness, numbness, or bowel or bladder dysfunction. In cases where back pain doesn't improve after a week or two, consulting with a physician can establish a correct diagnosis and allow an appropriate treatment plan to be instituted. Following lumbar disc surgery, many patients report a dramatic relief of their preoperative symptoms. Since it's possible to re-rupture a recently operated disc, it's very important to follow your doctor's post-operative instructions, which usually involves activity modification and a progressive exercise program for the low back and legs. After examining my post-op patients 7 to 14 days following the surgery, I recommend a pool therapy program which enables them to participate in an exercise program while their backs are protected by the buoyancy of the water. When the goals of the pool program are completed in approximately 4 to 6 weeks, I then recommend my patients participate in a gym-based program to maximize their strength, flexibility, and endurance. Individuals with high physical demands either due to occupation or recreational desires sometimes participate in a work hardening or sport specific rehabilitation program. Choosing a physician for surgical or non-surgical care of a spinal condition is a very important decision and patients should take the time to determine the background, experience, and professional reputation of the individual to whom they entrust their health care to. The physicians of Southern California Orthopedic Institute have been providing the highest quality of medical care since 1979 and we are known nationwide for the outstanding care we provide and the many surgeons we've trained over the years that are practicing all over the United States. To learn more about the lumbar spine and lumbar disc herniations, log on to our website www.scoi.com.